hey guys welcome back to my channel i am kim the chick and today we're gonna be making looks from scratch baby okay so if you want to see how i went from this olive green fabric to this bum ass fucking lumper just stay tuned and if you have not subscribed to my channel i already love go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and if you love this video at the end give me a thumbs up so let's just jump right into it for this video you will need your pattern which i will link in the description box scissors rotary cutters pins and pattern weights let's not forget of course the fabric of your choice now what you see me doing here I'm just going to take my pattern and place it in the center of my fabric and cut it cut around it of course leave seam allowance if you need to but depending on your size and the um, size of your pattern you may not need seam allowance because seam allowance is included in the pattern and again I will link that pattern below and all you see me doing here, I'm taking my chalk pen and I'm marking which side is the inside and which side is the outside because they look so identical. Like my eyes be playing tricks on me and leave it up to me to sew the wrong sides together. One side the right side and one side the wrong side. Trial and error, been there, done it. So yeah, that's all I was doing with my chalk pen. And as you can see, you want to make sure that your fabric is smoothed out. You don't want no wrinkles or anything when cutting out your pattern. So I double folded it so I can make two pieces at one time. So that's all I'm doing here. And we're just going to cut it out. Once we have those two pieces cut out, we're now going to sew along where you see my hand going all the way down to the crotch. Do not sew below the crotch, only above the crotch. And then we're going to do the same thing for our back piece. And for the back of our rumper, I did not want my back to be covered, so it's kind of going to be like a back out. So I'm just going to fold my pattern, um, you know, I'm just going to fold it a couple times. You know, I did everything by the eye. You know, I think of things as I go and then I just go with it. So that's all I did. Fold the back down a little bit so my back can be showing and cut out. Again, leave seam allowance if you need it. steps apply for the back of our rumper as it did to the front so above the crotch not below and then we're going to come back and connect both pieces front and back and you know how you guys should be used to me saying this by now you're going to match seam to seam when it comes to crotch when it comes to anything I always match your seams up okay so I'm going to take my front and I'm going to take my back and we're going to do the crotch area first and I'm going to match seam to seam like so and so along the line. And use your 
pens guys that's what they're there for pens really do help out a lot when i use when i do my crotch i always use pens because i don't want seams to move i don't want my seams to not be lined up together so always use pens and i am using my serger if you do not have a serger that is completely fine you're just going to use a zigzag stitch using your sewing machine completed the crotch area your seam should be matched up like so we are now going to take it back to our board and connect well now we're going to pin our sides together and sew or serge along our sides like so and once we do this part we'll be completely finished with our romper this was so easy guys i finished this in literally 20 minutes okay if not less <laughs> ahead and hem our raw edges off camera so it could be so it could have that clean and professional look and once I did that this is our finished look guys I freaking love it okay came out bomb as fuck like the figure is given period okay so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, sis, what you waiting for? What are you waiting for? The button is right there, sis. Click the subscribe button for me. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for sticking with me, sis. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time.